God is calling you from. So when we talk about arise and shine, uh, I, I want you to understand this. You must connect to the light to arise and shine. You cannot talk about the word shining without talking about the word light. Light is very important. So it is my responsibility, it is also responsibility of my viewers and my listeners that we may also find the way to connect ourselves to the light. And Jesus said, for I am the light of the world. That is what the Bible says in the book of uh, John chapter 8 verse number 12. The Bible says, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Praise the living God. Now we see according to John chapter 8 verse number 12, Jesus the Son of God, he is the light of the world. Now, because Jesus is the light of the world, when I desire to be the light, to become the light as my Lord Jesus, I must accept to connect to Jesus. Somebody might be asking, how can I connect to Jesus? In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, when you read verse number 17, the Bible tells us, uh, if any man be in Christ... He is a new creature. The old is gone. Behold, the new has come. Now, we have two words there. The Bible talks about the old is gone and the new has come. We can take an experiment when you come out of your house at night. Then you use your spotlight. The moment you light it into darkness, what will happen is the light that you're lighting into darkness will cause the darkness to disappear. And when the darkness disappears, you find there is a new light. So therefore, when we talk about uh, if any man be in Christ, it means if any man take a position to connect himself to the light. If you connect yourself to the light, it is very important, ladies and gentlemen, you shall arise and shine. You shall arise and shine. Because the old is gone. What do you understand by the word the old is gone? When the Bible talks about the old is gone, it is talking about the darkness. The darkness cannot stand when the light takes its control. I pray for somebody tonight. The only thing that you need in your life is the light of the gospel, the light of the word. It is going to change your life from any background where you are coming from. The background has no grip that will cause you to lose the direction of your destiny. So long as you take your time to connect yourself to the light. That's why the Bible says, if any man be in Christ... He is the new creature. The old is gone. Behold, the new has come. And we have seen what the Bible says in John chapter 8. When you read verse number 12, the Bible says, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. So the world will remain in darkness without Jesus. But if I accept Jesus, it means I have become the light of the world. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world. In other words, the world was in darkness. Once upon a time, you and I, we were in darkness. But because of the darkness we were in, God loved us. And he sent us his son Jesus. Who in John chapter 8 verse 12 says, he is the light of of the world. In other words, Jesus is the light of all who believe in him. If Jesus becomes the light of them that believe in him, it means we shall walk in the light, but we shall not walk in darkness. That's why the Bible says, and Jesus said, 
I have given you opportunity to become the light of the world. So we must arise and shine. That's why we've been given that opportunity to arise and shine. Because when the moment we tap into the light, we become also the shining ones. And the shining ones will have responsibility here on earth. What is the responsibility of the shining ones? The shining ones, they shall win those that are in darkness. That is what we call making disciples of every nation. In Isaiah, the Bible says, and all nations will be running unto you. In other words, because now I have tapped into the light, I am able to light into the world that is dark, into the nations that are fully covered by the darkness. When I appear with the word of God, because I am connected to Jesus, therefore, in that particular dimension, I become the light. And that light will not allow the darkness to comprehend. But in other words, the darkness will disappear. And that is when the nations will find its way into the light. This light, we call it salvation. So we've been called upon to arise and cause many to receive Jesus to be their personal savior. So if you want to arise and shine, you must accept to connect to the light, which is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Number two, that will cause us to arise and shine, it is uh, when we connect to the light, you become the light too. The moment I personally connect myself to the light, which is the word of God, which is Jesus Christ, therefore I also become the light. Because there is a transmission that takes place when I connect myself to the light. In other words, Jesus Christ is the light transmitter. Therefore, I must tap myself to the light transmitter so that I can also transmit light to the entire world. That is the will of the living God. He desires us to receive the word and also allow to pass it out to others so that they can also come out of the dark, dark, their darkness and walk into the light. Praise the living God. I pray for you tonight as you listen to this word may you develop your faith because the Bible says faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. The moment you tap into this particular word you will begin from where you are shine in every situation that darkness in your family that darkness in your genealogy that darkness in that particular place where you stay that darkness in your ministry the moment you tap into the power god will give you the anointing to stand and begin to shine because he cannot cause you to arise without shining i pray for you today in the mighty name of jesus may you arise and shine. I pray that your ministry, you will arise and shine. I pray that in your marriage, in your family, let that family begin to shine. Any darkness covering your family, any darkness covering your company, any darkness covering your ministry, the Bible says you will arise and shine for the glory of God has come upon you. That is my prayer for you this particular evening. Before you surrender to your beds tonight, I pray that you need to understand the moment you connect to the light, you also become the shining one. You become the light as well. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter number 5, verse number 14, the Bible says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill, it cannot be hid. Now, when somebody taps from the light of the world, which is Jesus Christ, you also become the shining one. The moment you become the shining one, you will also become a light that is set on a hill. The meaning of the word is set on a hill. It means you are re raised to the next level. I pray that God may raise you. May God raise your children. 
May the Lord raise you to the next level. The next level you are praying for, it is always determined by the light of the gospel. If I want to go to the next level, I must first of all enter into a, my, a, a position of receiving the word. The moment I receive the word of God, that is when I stand the position to go to the next level. That is your prayer. That is my prayer. And that is our prayer as a whole. We pray that we may go to the next level. Because the next level, it is all about shining. A city set on a hill, it means something that has been raised to a higher level. And in the book of Isaiah, the Bible says, Arise and shine. You begin, first of all, to arise. You cannot shine if you are still under the bed. You cannot shine if you are still under the table. I pray for somebody this evening that nobody will cover your ministry. Nobody will cover your gift. Nobody will cover what God has given to you. You have the power to arise. And because that anointing, it is upon your life, it will cause you to shine in every place you go. In every place you stand, the light of the gospel will shine. The light of the gospel will shine. The darkness that is covering the entire world, I pray that you shall become the shining one. The Bible says the wise ones will win souls. Why are they winning souls? They are shining like the firmament, the light of the firmament. Because God has put that anointing upon them. This year 2023, let us come together. Let us put in ourselves the mind of Jesus. The mind of reaching out. The mind of winning souls. The mind of spreading the gospel. You know, the gospel in itself, it is what we call the light to the world. The light that is shining in darkness and cause people in darkness to receive that light. That is the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's why on Sunday, the Lord was revealing to me in the book of Romans. When Paul was writing to the church in Rome, he said, Do not be ashamed of the gospel because the gospel is the power. You know, where there is power, there is light. You cannot have light without the power. And you cannot have power without the light. So when we talk about the light, we cannot forget to mention about the power. So when Jesus wanted the disciples to begin this particular assignment of witnessing uh, him to many places, the Bible says he talked to the disciples and he commanded the disciples to return back to Jerusalem. You know, Jerusalem was a place of gathering to worship God. So they were to go back to a place of waiting in order for them to be empowered. The Bible says, and he said, you shall receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. That Holy Spirit we are talking about, that is what we talk about, the light. It is the light we are talking about because it, is, it was until they received the light, they received the power, they received that anointing, and they are empowered after receiving the Holy Spirit. The Bible says they became the witness of Jesus Christ from Jerusalem and they went up to the outermost parts of the world. That one can only be done if somebody has got power. That one can only be done if somebody has got the light. Because the Bible says the word of God becomes the light unto the path of those who believe. I pray because you believe in the name of Jesus and because you believe in the word of God, this word will not only be in your heart, but it will also be the light unto your path. God will direct you. In other words, you will be led by the word. And when somebody is being led by the word, that person cannot be limited at all. As I said earlier, that person can go to places. The gospel, which is the light, can take you to many nations. I pray with somebody here. May the Lord lift your gift. He may be a singer. May the Lord lift you to the next level. Jesus said, the time is coming. And now this is the time or this is the hour 
when the true worshipers they shall worship me or they worship the father in spirit and in truth the word truth here it stands for the word of god it is very important that we capture we receive we walk in we speak we do the word in order for us to go to the next level another thing that you need to understand the bible says in john chapter 12 verse number 46 it says i i i am come i am come light into the world that whosoever believeth on me shall not abide in darkness so if i want to arise and shine i must tap to the light because jesus is the light and he says nobody can abide in me and he walks in darkness darkness is not your portion am i talking to somebody here if that is not your portion you can shout amen darkness is not your portion darkness is not your portion church it is our time that we may arise and go to the next level because when i abide to the word when i abide to the light of the world i will never walk into darkness darkness will not be my portion at all and this is my prayer to everyone that is listening to me that darkness it will not be your portion because when you walk in darkness you fail to succeed when you walk in darkness you fail to meet god when you walk in darkness, you fail to have hope in life. When you walk in darkness, you lose everything that you think you had achieved in the things of God. That is the disadvantage of walking into darkness. Darkness is not something good. Darkness does not have any prosperity. Darkness does not move anyone to the next level. But I pray, let us abide to the Lord. Let us abide to Jesus. Because Jesus is the light of the world in the book of john chapter 15 verse 7 the bible says abide in me and my words abide in you in other words it is until i abide in him and his word abide in me then he says ask whatever you need it shall be given to you even when it comes to prayers ladies and gentlemen i must abide in the word of god if i don't know how to abide in the word I will never know how to pray. My prayer is determined with how I am um, already abided to the word. Because I must pray the will of God. I must ask what is in the will of God. And the will of God is the word that we are talking about. If I know the word of God, therefore I enjoy to walk into the will of God. I pray for you. You shall not just make a quick prayer. You will begin to abide fast. When you abide, that is when you will know the will of God concerning the need that you want to pray God to answer to you as a man. And I pray that may this become your portion, that you will always abide in the word of God. Number three, if I want to arise and shine, you must consume the word of God. You must consume the word of God. Do you desire to arise? Yes. Yes. Then what we need to do is to consume the word of God. What do you understand by consuming the word of God? Somebody might be asking himself or herself some question somewhere. Now when we talk about consuming the word of God, we are talking about uh, the two dimension that man is living here on earth. One is the physical dimension. The second one is what we call the spiritual dimension. We have things that the flesh needs. We have things that the spirit of God needs. Now when we talk about the diet, we have the physical diet and we have the spiritual diet. Now when we come to consuming the word, we are talking about that any one of us, anybody that is listening to me, you must make the word of God to be part of your diet according to what Jeremiah did in Jeremiah chapter number 15. Jeremiah chapter number 15 verse 16. Jeremiah chapter 15 verse number 16. The Bible says uh, thy words were found and I did eat them and thy and word was unto me the joy 
and rejoicing of mine heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord God of hosts. That is Jeremiah chapter number 15, verse 16. When you find the word of God, Jeremiah was explaining of what happened to him. He says, I found your word. It is very important, ladies and gentlemen, to find the word of God. Because finding the word of God, it is like finding the foundation of all other things that will take place in your life. If I do not have the word of God in my life, nothing that I pray will come to pass. If you are listening to me, it is very important. If indeed you are created by God of heaven, you must find the word and eat the word. After finding the word and you eat the word, the word will bring joy upon your life. We have a lot of 